What's up everybody? Welcome back once again to Hank Vapes. Today I'm back with another review. We're going to be taking a look at a rebuildable dripping atomizer. This is a new version of an old favorite. What we're looking at today is the Royal Hunter Mini by the Council of Vapor. Stay tuned. Man, guys, whew, it's all vapey in here. So as you guys can see, this thing is a cloud chucking machine. This thing is a cloud chaser's dream. It really, really is, other than, than one little thing, you know, not having a whole lot of juice for you cloud chasers. Um, so you, you might get some dry hits pretty easily. But anyways, it is a cloud machine. And uh, so this is the follow-up from the Council of Vapor to the original... Where is it? The original Royal Hunter, which is one of my all-time favorite RDAs. And uh, now this one is on the list as well, the Royal Hunter Mini. This RDA is basically a version 2 because they took all the good elements from the version 1 and then they added extra things to the version 2. It's not really a version 2, it's a Mini. But they added extra stuff to make it even better and then they shrunk the size down. So it's, it's a little different than most minis. Most of your mini atomizers are just uh, pretty much the same thing but shorter. Not, not in this case. This one's definitely got some upgrades from the original. And uh, what we'll do is we'll dive down. We'll take an up-close look at this. We'll see what those differences are. And uh, then we'll come back up and we'll vape on it. And I'll let you know what I think about it. All right, here's the box that the Royal Hunter Mini comes in clear plastic blocks and whole blocks box and holy glare let's take that off okay so up here you've got your royal hunter obviously mine's the black and brass edition um, i do believe that these will also be available in the other colors that they have the tiffany blue with brass the emerald green with brass um, and the white with brass and then probably an all stainless steel version as well um, but right now the only ones that i've seen available so far are the black ones and also, unfortunately, they seem to be out of stock everywhere that I've found online. So, But I will still have links for it when they do come back in stock. So, let's get this out of here. We'll just pull this whole section out of the case. That'll make things a little easier. We've got the Royal Hunter Mini Council, Council of Vapor on this side. There you go, Facebook and website. Let's flip this open. And then in this foam, we've got the RDA here. We've got an extra drip tip, which is white, down below. And then underneath the foam, we've got a package here, an Allen key, some extra screws, and some O-rings. And then underneath, we've got a little Council of Vapor card, as well as a user's manual, wide bore high flow the drip tip shows you shows you what to do here pretty simple pretty cut and dry all right okay so here we are up close with the Royal Hunter Mini here's just a quick look you can see the logo here it says RH Mini same nice black finish here tons of airflow brass top cap brass ring at the bottom pretty cool so here it is real quick compared to the original Royal Hunter, just so you can get a feel for the height of this device. Okay, it's pretty much pretty much down low. It's pretty short. You know, the, the original here, the brass top cap, is pretty much where this one, this one stops, minus the drip tip. So like I said, this one is almost a version 2 because there's lots of improvements with this device. Um, but let's just start top to bottom. So the drip tip, the drip tip is now Delrin. So the original drip tip was was metal, and this thing would get very very hot. Uh, this one, this one stays nice and cool. So this one is now Delrin, and it threads in instead of popping in. And there is a reason for that. You do have to be careful. Just because it's Delrin, it's a soft plastic. You could mess up the threads pretty easily. I wouldn't recommend screwing and unscrewing it all the time, but the reason, I believe anyway, for the threading is for the airflow adjustment. 
that way it doesn't spin so you can turn it to the right and now you can start adjusting your airflow as you can you can see it moving down here start adjusting your airflow that way but let's just leave it open for now so like the original the drip tip has the honeycomb design inside and this prevents spit back and it does work pretty well occasionally if I especially if I over drip I will get just a little bit of spit back but not nearly as much they also took the teardrops off and I believe that's because this one is metal so it's easier to engrave and get that gold leaf to stick um, this one you know it's Delrin so it's just a plain drip tip but it is the same style same design as before super wide bore let's go ahead and throw this thread this back in let's pull the top cap off so here's your base looks pretty similar to the original except almost no juice well at all very short juice well very very short you've got like that much not very deep at all but that's what you get with a mini RDA um, the center positive block is silver plated just like in the original and we do have hex screws now the first run on the original did not have hex screws it had the really tiny Phillips head screws and everybody kept stripping them out so the second third you know and from there um, we're all hex screws so that's kind of like I guess you can say it's the same as the original because the original did come with hex screws as well four post design nice big holes in the posts very easy to build on not a whole lot to show you here on the deck we do have two o-rings to seal the barrel in place and then the 510 connection you've got that same council of vapor mess going on down here very busy but you never really see that so what does it matter um, the 510 pin is also silver plated and it's also adjustable however I wouldn't recommend adjusting it too much because it can make that center positive block fairly loose so as you can see you can thread this out I have it tightened down pretty tight you can thread this out if you want to use it on a hybrid style mech mod but just know that it may end up loosening your center post just a little bit right there it seems to be pretty tight um, but if you crank down on your screws you can you can cause it to spin a little bit it does have this square notch here so it's not going to spin completely um, but it will spin just a little and get just a little bit crooked in there like that so you know if that's something that bothers you just don't run this on a hybrid me it doesn't really bother me but it can throw your build off a little bit so if you want to get it nice and tight take some needle nose pliers like I have here go ahead and hold that center that center block nice and tight and then get your screwdriver in here and just tighten it up get it nice and snug and now that won't go anywhere when you build it so here's the airflow on the barrel we've got tons and tons of airflow here we've still got the three slots well this one wasn't three this was four slots here's the original that cell phone you know uh, signal bars type looking thing this thing had tons of airflow itself this one has even more Okay, but you've got the slots but now because it's so short they are running horizontally and then they also added these three air flows up top and I believe these are probably here to cool your vapor down a little bit um, just because it's above your coil and it's right before it goes into the drip tip um, that's what I'm assuming that's for I'm really I'm really not sure but it does add quite a bit of swooshy airflow to uh, to this device and then here's your airflow control ring your top cap this is brass here and you can see we've got this opening slot here to adjust your airflow like you normally would and also as you can see this is only for dual coils and then we've also got the three holes up top here for that extra added airflow now the only thing I wish they would have done I wish they would have made this a slot of some sort or or put the holes a little offset that way if you want to keep these open or close those off you can do so because you can't you can't do that so when you adjust your airflow here I'm just gonna spin it to the side you can see you can close those top ones off but you can't close them off all the way 
without losing at least a little bit of your side airflow. You can see, see over here we've lost just a little bit of the side airflow. And I'm also not quite completely closed off, so let me completely close off those top three holes right like that and now we've we've lost a little bit not much but you've lost a little bit on your side airflow so I wish they could have figured out a way to adjust it differently maybe if they had maybe they could leave those holes there but cut it in at an angle like the CLT version 3 then maybe you could close certain ones off without closing the others off but anyway if you want to start closing your airflow off you can just do it like so okay all kinds of different options here as far as how you want your airflow. And you can't really turn too much to the left because then you'll start loosening up your drip tip. So you kind of have to go all the way to the right. And then if you miss it, just go all the way again until you reach the other cutout. Now me, personally, I've been running it wide open. I like this device wide open. It's a lot of airflow. It's actually more than I would normally use anyway. Um, but I like it wide open. Okay, guys, let's throw a build on here real quick, and uh, then we'll take it back up top and vape on it, and I'll let you know what I think about this device. Okay, so here you see my build. I did five wraps around a three millimeter drill bit, 24 gauge. Pretty easy to build on here. This is about 0.2 ohms, 70 watts, and she's a cooking. So let's wick her up. Man, this thing, this thing really does produce a shit ton of vapor. I mean, that's just so much airflow. So let's get into some pros and cons on this device. Pros, the flavor. The flavor on this thing is absolutely magnificent. It's much better flavor than the version 1, um, and it's much better flavor than you would ever think that you would have with something with this much airflow. And the reason for the better flavor, at least... The reason I think it has better flavor is because it's so short and it's so condensed. It's so condensed that, you know, even with all that airflow, you're still getting it straight into your mouth. Fantastic flavor on this device. Um, another pro, that anti-spit back, you know, especially with being a shorter atomizer, you need some sort of anti-spit back. If it didn't have that, um, that honeycomb thing inside the drip tip, you'd be, you might as well just drip juice into your mouth. Um, you still get a little bit, you get a little bit more spit back than you did with the original, but like I said, that's only when you either, you know, first drip or have it a little bit over dripped, it's going to do that to you. Um, once, you know, if you're, if you are a little bit over dripped after that first hit, you're not going to get any more spit back. Um, it really does a great job of deflecting it. Now the original, I could drip through that and it would kind of evenly disperse the juice. This one doesn't seem to be doing that as well. It does, but then you do kind of get a little bit of juice stuck in the drip tip, and then you might get that in your mouth on your first inhale. Um, but if you blow out first before you inhale, then, then it will shoot that juice down. But because there's not a big juice well, you could blow that juice out of the airflow and down on your mod. So that's kind of a catch-22 there. Some of the other pros, um, this Delrin drip tip, it stays a lot cooler than the original did. Still gets pretty hot because it's so short and you've got all that vapor pretty close. Um, but, you know, if you don't like it so hot, you can always build a little higher or turn your wattage down a little more. This one's not even, well, I guess it is pretty up there. It's a 0.2 at 70 watts, so 3.9 volts. That's a, you know, in a big size RDA, that might not be very warm, but in a short one, it's a very hot vape. Um, but it is also, like I said, very flavorful and just produces monster clouds. I mean, this thing is, uh, it's pretty cool. It's, it's definitely one of my favorite RDAs now. 
it's, I put it right up there with the original Royal Hunter. Um, it definitely has some things about it that, that are better, um, but I wouldn't necessarily say that the RDA itself is better. Um, some of you might think it is, and some of you might think it's not. Um, I just think that it's it's a very good RDA. It's it's a great RDA, and it's definitely in my rotation now as one of my top you know top five that I use. So, yeah, and it's just a classy looking RDA. I mean, this one was classy too. And guys, this one's old. I haven't used it in a little while. It's grungy. It's starting to patina. So you know, don't don't hold that against me. But this was a classy looking RDA, and this one is very classy looking as well and it's more low profile so I don't really have much else to say about this thing um, it's easy to build on flavors great vapor production is great so I'm just gonna end that one here that's the Royal Hunter Mini so thank you all so much for watching um, don't forget to fight for your right to vape guys go join kasa.org and the vaping militia everybody's got to do their little part if you want to keep vaping the way it is and keep this innovation coming so Please, everybody, do your own little part and go join CASA, Baby Militia, and do their calls to action. Um, also, don't forget, Sunday nights at 10 p.m., Project Fog. You can join myself, Vaping Heathen, and Robbie Vapes. This is our live show. It's a great time. Um, a lot of fun doing this show. And also, come on over to myvaporium.net and check us out there. Um, before we end this, I forgot to tell you where you could get it. I will have links in the description. Um, right now... The cheapest place I found it online is VapeSocietySupply.com for $39.99, but it's out of stock, and it's out of stock on all the other websites I found it on as well. I actually picked this one up from Urban Vape in Frederick, Maryland, so big shout out to you guys um, over at Urban Vape. It's one of my favorite brick and mortars to go to, and uh, I picked this up at the shop for $55, bucks. so that's, that's a great price on an authentic RDA, especially one that performs this well. So, now that that's all out of the way, because I should have said that first, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you all for watching. Stay tuned. Remember, my giveaway is coming up very soon, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.